Previously on The Bill. The truth is that Simpson needs putting away by any means necessary. The other night was about me helping you overcome your fear of intimacy. Well, you did that all right. You're a stupid little man who's only worried about saving his own skin. What are you doing to me? Just making you a little more comfortable. I have an appointment with Superintendent Akari. Now, please. Sorry to have kept you waiting. No, not at all. What can I do for you? As I explained in my letter, I'm an inquiry agent with Citizen Solicitors. I'd like to talk to a couple of your officers in connection with an investigation. What sort of investigation? An appeal. Jeff Simpson. The man who firebombed the station? Allegedly. There was nothing alleged about him. He was found guilty of the murder of seven police officers in a Crown Court. I'm not a lawyer, Superintendent, but I do believe there are questions raised by the Crown's case. Oh, I know you're not a lawyer. You joined the Met in 1988, served at Stafford Row and Barton Street before you came here, where you were a detective inspector until 1995. Then you went to New Scotland Yard to work on the performance review. You're well briefed. A man in my position has to be careful. What sort of questions would you like to ask? I don't have any specifics. As I said, I would just like to talk to two of your officers, PC Des Taverner and DC Danny Glaze. Well, if you don't have any specific questions, then this has to be a fishing trip. <sighs> I'm on side, Superintendent. I do know the difficulties police officers face. Write to the Commissioner. Tell him what specific questions you have for DC Glaze and PC Taverner. He'll consider it. But neither the Commissioner nor I can force either of them to talk to you. I guess I want to show you out. Gina, did you ever meet a D.I. called Sally Johnson? She was a D.S. at Stafford Row, what, 92? What did you think of her? Good-looking, self-possessed, arrogant, and likely to cause a disaster by cutting corners. She came to see me today. Jeff Simpson's appealing against his conviction. She's doing the P.I. work for the defence team. She wants to talk to Taverner and Glaze. What about? She wasn't specific. What do they say? They don't know. I told her to write through the proper channels. Do you want me to tell them? No. Oh, Alan Best. I think I'm going to brief you about what I'm doing. You met with him? Yep. But I need to talk to him again. Is he cooperating? With a little persuasion. He's not exactly reliable. Are we doing the right thing? Using him as an informant, yes. I, potentially, he's perfect for it. OK. Keep me updated. We need to keep this as far away from PC Best as possible. We don't want this operation compromised. Oh, by the way, you owe me 50 quid? No. Yeah. Danny Glaze. Yeah. Hi, I'm Sally Johnson. I used to be DI here. I've been looking for you. Oh, yeah. You've been recommended for a project. Why? Off the record? Borough. What kind of a project? I'd like to talk in private. Can we go for a drink? How about the dumb cow in an hour? Great. See you there. Thank you. Hey, yeah. Uh, used a bed? Nobody used no. Thanks. So, what's all this about? I've got a DC who's in a bit of a jam. He made a statement that put a man in prison for life, but the man is innocent. What do you think that DC should do? Whoa, 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 whoa. What happened to the borough recommends you for a special project? It exists. What should he do? Tell the truth. Even if lies were told in court. Best course of action. Look, I don't know where we're going with this. That's simple. I work for the solicitor representing Jeff Simpson. And if what he says is true, then the evidence you and Des Taverner gave in court was false. That means it's a miscarriage of justice. Unless, of course, you were just mistaken. Were you and Des Taverner mistaken? Why have you come to me now? An injustice is constant. It doesn't become less of an injustice with the passage of time. If anything, it becomes more. Give me a break. We're discussing Jeff Simpson here. Yes. Were you lying about the special project? No. So what is it? Tell the truth. Thank you.
Simpson. Jeff Simpson's where scum like him deserves to be, in a high security cell. Yeah, well, he's making an appeal against his conviction. It won't work. That woman you saw me talking to earlier, she's an ex-DI from here, Sally Johnson. She knows who you are, she knows who I am, and she's after us. She's sniffing around. What did you say to her? Nothing. You dragged me right into this. And did I drag you around to Ali Fulton's kicking and screaming, did I? You planted evidence. You got me to lie to cover for you. I was even there when you made up Simpson's confession. Why aren't you knocking, Danny? What are you going to do? We aren't going to do anything. Hello? Help me. What's the matter with you, mate? I need my medication. Where is it? The kitchen. Third cupboard on the right. What's your name, sir? Mustafa Ari. Would you like to tell me what happened? They attacked me. And they robbed me. And what did they get? 60,000 quid. Danny, I need to talk to you. Your life will be so much easier if you just play ball. Thank you. The inquiry into the arson attack on the station. Murder investigation. Exactly. A murder investigation being run by MIT. Strange that you and PC Taverner happened to make all the crucial discoveries in the first week of the inquiry when you weren't even part of the official team. Everyone in the station wanted a result. We were all pitching in. Pitching in. Did you plant the forensic evidence that got Jeff Simpson convicted? No one planted evidence. Did you simply make up the bit where he confessed in the back of the car? Danny, this is not going to go away! Sally Johnson? Uh, Jim! What are you doing here? I thought you'd left the job. Yeah. Uh, so what are you doing? Uh, um, just trying to get to the bottom of something. Danny Glaze, what do you think of him? Well, he's, um, he's very good. He's committed. Oh, a oh, special project. Listen, I, I gotta go. I'll, I'll see you. Yeah. Is he all right? He's been complaining of chest pains. He's got angina. What happened? Well, Mr. Harry was approaching the front of his house. Two blokes grabbed him and forced him to hand over £60,000. They're both wearing balaclava. Do they injure him? Uh, that was Mr. Harry's doing. He grabbed the hammer, managed to hit one of them around the head before they escaped. Any shooters involved? No, not as far as we know. It seems like a bit of an amateur job, doesn't it? They went upstairs. Yeah, he chased them, yeah. Seven short, leave me alone. Oh, she won't. And you know why she won't? Because you're walking around like you've murdered someone and buried them in your back garden. If you just told us to do one, she'd have been long gone by now. She knows that the evidence was planted and that we lied about Simpson's confession. She knows you're rattled. If you won't tell her to do one, I will. And in the meantime, Danny, stay out of the way. You're a liability. Yeah, so this is where we think the burgers have escaped. Out here. Yeah, I'm just doing it now. DC Glaze.
lady outside for you. Great, thanks. You're stopping me from doing my job. Oh, are you sure the problem's with me, Danny, and not with your guilty conscience? I've got nothing to be guilty about. Can the same be said for Des Taverner? Danny, when I first started working for Simpson's legal team, I was fairly sceptical. But now I'm certain Jeff Simpson did not set fire to the station. You're wrong. Am I? How can you be so sure? Certainly not from the forensic evidence, because we both know there was no genuine forensic evidence. It's in your best interest to drag this thing out as long as possible, isn't it? Keep the money coming in. Why did Des Taverner visit Simpson in jail? Oh, I'm sorry, Danny, didn't he tell you? You're lying. Emma? Why don't you talk to Des Taverner? I will, but I wanted to get your side of the story first. Danny, I don't know whether you and Taverner are involved in this together or not, but I would consider your position very carefully. We are not just talking about the end of your career here. We are talking about a prison sentence. Said of someone to see me. PC this is harassment. You see this woman out here? She used to be a police officer. You know what she does now? What's going on? She does the dirty on the people that she used to work with. I'd really like to talk to you. What's your problem? I just want 15 minutes of your time. Simpson killed seven police officers. You knew some of them. I think it'd be better if we did this in private, don't you? Better for him. He's already killed seven people. The only thing that makes it easier is the fact that he got sent down for it, and you are trying to get him off. You better go. You sure you want to do this here? I'll do this anywhere you want, love. Look, do you have an appointment? What? Reg! Look, I believe you've already spoken with the superintendent, and he has told you that you're not welcome. Now, you're not welcome. You ought to report her. She's not worth it. Brandon. Hey, I sorted that thing. Can you come in? What are you up to? You went to see Simpson in prison before the trial. Oh, you've been talking to Sally, have you? Why, Des? Why would she make up something like that, eh? Did you go to see Simpson in prison? He asked to see me. Why didn't you tell me? There was nothing to tell, was there? Danny? Alice told me where Kamal's taking yourself. <sighs> right, I'll meet you in the car. What else haven't you told me? No, I'm just sus behind, Danny. I just think you didn't put up much of a fight the first time. What about making, eh? Two men hold me down. What's your excuse? Come on. Come on! You can arrest me, but I'll always have something in you, Mickey. That making's got something over you, yeah? You broke my arm. Why haven't you done anything to him yet? What are you scared of, eh? Truth. He's always got that bloody dog with him. I hate dogs. You're a sick, sick man. I need assistance. All units in Sierra 
Oscar DC Webb has seen Martin Delaney in the last two minutes running out of the east exit of Grange Park in the direction of Bagshot Road. I need units to go to and give location along the proposed route for sighting. Here, Oscar from DC Webb. I'm in Staymar Lane, chasing the suspect into Staymar Road towards Mill Yard. Sierra Oscar 2-1 from Sierra Oscar. I've got units south and west of Canley Fields. Sierra Oscar from DCI Meadows. I'm at the top of Staymore Road and I'm proceeding to Mill Yard. Yeah, all received with Will Fire. Arresting you for assault. Just assault. <laughs> what about rape? Ah, you sick ah, little mouth. What about the rape? You don't have to ah. say anything, but it may harm your defence if you do not mention when question something you later on in court. Anything ah. you say may be given in evidence. Ah. Right, get him in the car. But what about the rape charge? You don't caution me. Shut up. Right, what's up, Albert? Right? I didn't know he'd raped anyone. What's been going on, Sad? Shut up, Des, and just put him in a car. Decide not to report it, Mickey. Brave boy. <laughs> you going back inside, Martin. <laughs> what happens when you meet another Trevor Mickey, eh? Are you going to report it? Are you going to report it? Hey, hey! Been 72 hours. Yeah, well, I kept the clothes I was wearing. Good. So, how do you feel about standing up in court? Must be on a day. Is it true what Delaney said about Mickey? I believe it is. It is, isn't it? You've raped him. Why don't you get on the tannoy, are you, idiot? Come on, Blair. Oh. Sarge. Yeah, come here, sit down. You all right? Get oh. a glass of water, please. You all right, then? That's it. You all right? I'm OK, Des. Well, come with you. No. Why not? Because you've got a job to do, and I'm fine by myself. I want to know what's wrong with you. It's over, Des. I'm not your concern anymore. Understand? Concussion. I'm keeping him in for observation. I wonder if anyone's checked his pockets. They might find the missing 20 grand. Listen, Jim. Yusuf and Andy never took that money. Yeah, I know, I know, I know. I'm only joking. Well, I hope whoever has found it puts it to good use. Give me a minute, Jim. She's a police officer. Will you just have a look for us, please? Okay. Danny, look, let's have a word. I wanted Simpson to go down for killing Conway because I knew that he was guilty. But I don't know if Simpson fired on the station, Des. Do you? Look, don't lose your bottle now. Did Simpson set fire to the station? You're up to your neck in this. What else do you know, eh? I don't know anything. You don't deserve to wear that. I'm a good copper, and I'm leaving because he, because of you. He leaving? Maybe that's the best thing, Danny. This ain't the end, Des. Des. Des, I didn't realise you'd brought her in. Yeah. I, I didn't. Give me the fright of my life. But well, she's all right. If this had happened a couple of months earlier, oh, it doesn't bear thinking about. You coming on up to see her? Three months ago, 
sounds are crucial. So I thought we were in safe ground. When they called me at work and told me it's shield and brought in. father again. I can hardly believe it. Thanks. I hear you showed Sally Johnson the door yesterday. Oh, yes, Scott. That does got pretty annoyed. Was Danny there? Uh, no, no. Any idea where he is? No, no. Is Des? I don't know, that why? Because Danny hasn't showed this morning, and I can't raise him on his mobile. Sorry, God. I think it gives the wrong impression. The wrong impression to who? To the new girl. What's her name? Yvonne. Fancy giving her the area card on the first day. She's going to think that it's her spot, whereas it's my spot. You don't own it, Des. Neither does Tony. She's as well trained as both of you. She must be. That's what you think. It comes down to seniority and experience. I've put in twice the hours that she has. She's always going to play second fiddle. Mrs. Flint? Yes. It was parked right there. If we could just confirm the details of the missing vehicle. Sure. They're inside. When did you notice it was missing? When I went out to use it. I got a presentation in Colchester. I planned on driving. When was the last time you saw it? Last night. About ten. Has anyone else got keys, like your husband? No. And my keys are missing. Where do you usually keep them? Just over here. I'll have a look around. Right. They sometimes try and poke a fishing rod through the letterbox. You should try and keep the key somewhere else. Carly? Carly? My daughter. Oh, that's my taxi. Carly, I've got to go. My car's been stolen. That's why the police are here. Can you see them out? No sign of a break in. I'm going. I'll see you later. Dad's home late. This is my name and number. If you call the station, they'll give you a crime number. Sorry, but I've got to go. So, please. Do you mind if I ask you some questions about your mum's car? You said it was stolen. Yeah, that's right. It looks like someone took the keys. I was out. When did you go out? Half nine, I'm running. Yeah? Was the car still there then? Yeah. No, I, I don't really remember. Your mum said the car was parked right outside the front door. It was gone, yeah, that's right. It wasn't there. Sometimes it's there, sometimes it isn't. Thank you. We'll see ourselves out. Sergeant Murphy? No. What's new girl like? She's all right. Straight talker, doesn't like running, that's all I know so far. Doesn't like running? Let's me do all the foot chasing, you know what I mean? Not surprised the size of her. She's a pretty good driver though. You... DCI is looking for you. It's about Danny. What about Danny? What is coming tomorrow? Sarge, what about that stolen car? The keys were taken from inside the house. So it's a burglary, they get to see ID. Yeah, but there's no sign of a forced entry. Should you be in work in your condition? I'm pregnant, I'm not sick. They said I'd be fine. You told me you weren't sleeping with your husband. I don't want to discuss this. But if you weren't sleeping with him, how can you be pregnant by him? I know you've got work to do, I suggest you go and do it. How do you think I felt, eh, standing next to him? Congratulating him on the fact that he got you pregnant, while all the time in my head I've got this little voice telling me that the baby just might be mine.
Des, just the man I'm looking for. So why did you start mouthing off when Sally Johnson came in the front office? She's working as an investigator for Simpson's defence team. And how did you know that? Danny Glaze told me. What exactly did Danny say? He just asked me if they'd been in touch with me or whether they'd singled him out for some reason. And was she in touch with you? No, Gov. So what else did Danny say? Uh, he told us to get lost. And what did you say? Bring it on. We've got nothing to hide. What, we, as in you and Danny? Sean Ilgov. So did Johnson say anything to Danny specific, you know, about her lines of inquiry? No, not really, but it's obvious, isn't it? How's that? Well, Simpson's gonna cry foul. He's gonna say it was a fit-up. But we've heard it all before, haven't we? To bring it on, eh? Yeah. You know, whether you like it or not, mud sticks. Aren't you curious about what she's got? Well, I am. Suspects approaching junction at Limefield Road. Look out! <laughs> Heading north onto Stanbeck Road. Sierra Oscar 21 from Sierra Oscar 84. We're joining you from Totten Way over. Sierra Oscar 84 from Sierra Oscar. We're on Totten Way over. Just past Hippley Street. Sierra 1 from 21, where are you? They're still on Stanbeck Road, but they're getting away from us. Sierra Oscar 21 from Sierra 1. We're ahead of you now, approaching Stanbeck Road. Over. Another minute, and that was ours. Nick, they're yours. Is that a woman driver? Could be, I don't know. Right, we've picked him up on Stanbeck Road at Dunford Street. We're right behind him now, over. Suspects have turned right onto Welling Road going east. We're still in pursuit, over. Is your escape for a stinger? Des, he shouldn't have, but he might. Get him onto it. We're heading his way. Des, do you have a stinger on board, over? Affirmative. Right, well, we're heading east in your direction down Welling Road, over. Okay, we will deploy. Coming! What happened? I don't know, he was just standing. Hello, Sally. Hello, Gov. Nice to see you. And you. You should try the Clifico here, it's excellent. Well, I don't think so, it's a bit heavy for me. Send me to sleep. Isn't that one of the perks of the job, little naps in the afternoon? As if. Do you want a drink? That really would put me to sleep. <laughs> Sorry I was late, there's nowhere to park. It's all residence bays these days. Well, I thought lateness was part of the game plan, you know, be mysterious. You know precisely why I'm here. I know why you went to see my superintendent. It's about the fire. You see, no mystery. No, but I guess the superintendent of Cara told you to go through channels. And I'm not channels, am I? I'm your old governor. Yeah, well, I was hoping you could get your officers to talk to me. That way I could decide for myself whether or not there's anything in this. In what? Simpson says he was fitted up. Oh, come on, Sally. I'm going to need more than that before I even think about helping you, let alone doing anything. So what have you got? What's your angle? I wouldn't be much of a negotiator if I gave that to you at the very beginning, would I? Hi, Custis. Can I have my usual, the sea bass and a glass of house white, please? Did you know that there's an investigator looking into Simpkins' conviction in the arson? What do you know about her? Well, she spoke to the new PC. Who are we, Yvonne? Yeah. What's it got to do with her? Well, she says nothing. But this investigator asked about you. Apparently, that's what I took it, that's all. Thanks. I know you had a word with Danny Glaze and he told you to get lost. I can't make him talk to you. You're going to need solicitor's instructions for that. Yeah, but you could encourage him. Simpson's a murderer. A self-professed racist. What's a black woman like you doing working for him? He admits to killing Inspector Conway. Well, that's the reason for walking away. But he denies killing the others. What's he told you? I'm just having it. Yvonne Hemingway. Yeah, I don't know. You're my competition. You don't look like a sexy black woman to me. You don't look like an area car driver. Oh, well, you're the one with the stinger. Or not with the stinger, as it turns out. Do it a bit too fast. A bit too fast for you as well. Yeah, they hit a cyclist. So I heard. I also heard that an investigator was asking you a couple of questions about me. Yeah, and I cut her off. Well, thanks for that. You're welcome. Oh, 
Can I ask you something? Go on. Is Nick always this po-faced, or is it just me? Why? Well, he's giving me the slippery slope talk about drugs like I haven't been a copper for five years. Well, there's no preacher like the converted, if you know what I mean. Not really. Well, he's not long out of rehab, is he? So he's probably just talking to himself. Des Taverner testified that Simpson confessed in the area car. Then it was Danny's turn to be questioned about it. Yeah? He never answered. Danny never said in the witness box that the confession took place. But he didn't say he didn't. There was an interruption, an adjournment. He was stopped from answering the question. Jack, doesn't that bother you? Don't you find that just a tad convenient? No. It strikes me as being very inconvenient. Well, you must have talked to Danny about this. Yes, I did. So what did he say? That's when the shutters came down. You know, so far you haven't given me one concrete thing to make me doubt this conviction. PC Des Taverner went to see Simpson in jail. What? He went to visit him on remand. Are you sure about that? It's on the record. Now, why would a lowly PC do that? Where's the ambulance? Where is it? It's on its way. Is that your baby? What's the matter with the baby? Did you call? What's the matter with the baby? Will you talk to me? He's not breathing. How long's he not been breathing for? I don't know. Look, you're blowing too hard there. You're gonna hurt him. You do it. You need to keep doing it. Come on. There's no point. There's the ambulance is here. The baby's not breathing. The father's been giving it mouth to mouth. Is he going to be all right? Hadn't he better get in? What about the mother? No. Are you sure? I'll go on my own. I should have done more. Where's Carrie? She's upstairs with the mother. Should you be doing this? Do what does? This type of call in your condition? My condition is my business. The sooner you get it into your head, the better. Right, so it's father and baby at the hospital and the mother's here, yeah? Father didn't want the mother to go. Why not? I don't know. I suppose sometimes one partner wants to shut the other out. 432 from Sierra Oscar, receiving, over. Go ahead. Is it okay for me to pass sensitive information, over? Uh, just hold on a minute, will you? Okay, you can talk now. Bad news, sorry. The baby arrived at St. Hugh's, life extinct. We just heard over. Received. I best go and tell the mother. Des. What are you doing? Just, uh, just what? Not a lot. I had lunch with Sally Johnson. She told me something very interesting. Oh yeah, what's that? She said you visited Simpson in prison. Yeah. Why? Uh, he asked me to. Why did you go? Because he threatened me. And I wanted to tell him that I wasn't afraid of him or anything he could do. And I wouldn't change my evidence for him or anyone else. And what was his response? Kidnapped Reg. It seemed not at the time. And I'm not happy it was the outcome of a visit that you shouldn't have made and that you kept to yourself. Well, I didn't change my evidence. And we got Reg back and Simpson went down for life. It was a good result all round, if you'd ask me. I'd say the same myself. If it wasn't for the fact that Danny Glaze resigned the day after he talked to Simpson's investigator. And he's probably left the country to boot. Resigned? Send me his warrant card. Did he say why, like? You've no idea. We all know you were the last person to talk to him. And you probably talked about Sally Johnson. And you've no idea. No. I don't believe you. Well, we all know he hated CSU. 
And he hasn't been the same since that Nathan Morley kid got shot. But besides that, I... You planning on sending your warrant card in? No. She'll be after you next. Well, if she wants to talk to me, I'll talk to her. Oh, you will, will you? I haven't got anything to hide. I sent you back to the Nick. You did. How's the father? Pretty shaken up. I had to give that baby mouth to mouth, you know. I could still feel his lips next to mine. It was so cold and tiny. It's funny when something happens to you out the blue like that. Makes you think about what's really important in life. Yes, that's why I send you back to the Nick. And if you want me to stand you down for the rest of the shift, I will. Who's the father of your baby, Sheila? You've got to tell me. When that father handed me the baby, he wanted me to perform a miracle. Because that's what life is, isn't it? A miracle. So I don't care if this baby is Patrick's or mine or some other fellas. I just need to know. It's not some other fellas. So whose is it? Mine. Oh, come on, Sheila. Yours. When were you gonna tell me? No. No. So Patrick thinks it is. You're gonna play happy families with him. He wants to be with me. You don't. Well, I can't like when you see me like this. See, Des, that's why I didn't tell you. Because I know I can't rely on you. Next time on the bill. Yeah. It's harassment, this is. Who would call a dead child is? Chill me to the bone. Best having him as a hero that night. And the memorial plaque, it's been unveiled tomorrow, right? Yeah, and Des should be the one pulling that rope. If things are getting dangerous, you should get out while you can. I'm not running like Danny Glaze.